Hi, I'm Wolf Weigo, three-time Olympian and co-founder of Cap7. We're here today for Chalk Talk. This is your Cap7 tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about some two-meter defense, talk about different styles of defenders and how you can use them to, to change your uh, defensive structure. Okay, so we have you know a few basic types of, of two-meter defenders. You got the first type, which is a really strong, stocky guy who's got a really powerful horizontal egg beater that can sort of control the center and the two meter player. And you know, typically for me, you'll want to use this um, defender to sort of push the center out and hold the line. So if you're gonna run a four or five drop, you want a, a guard who can get underneath push and keep the, the center so that they're not gonna be able to back up and keep these players so that they can play a zone pretty far out and you're giving up bad angle shots um, to players who are far from the cage, which is ideal. Or you can have a, where your center takes the player and keeps them out outside of five meters, okay? And then you can run a full zone up top, and these players are out at nine or 10 meters, and you can play a zone here in this position, okay? If you don't have that strong center, and, you, and you're running a two, three, four drop or a full zone, the attacking um, player on offense is gonna be able to push your players back, everything's going to be moved up and these players are going to get a lot higher quality shots okay so you want to really use use your strong two meter guard to your advantage you don't want to try and play a pressing defense where um, he's going to front and he doesn't have those quick twitch movements and a, and a quick mobile two meter player might be able to get away and get an inside water shot now we'll talk about another type of two meter defender one who's quicker more mobile maybe a really fast um, player and you'll want to press a little more with this kind of player. This player will have their hips up, you know, he or she can be really mobile, head on a swivel, always know where the ball is, anticipating that ball as the ball is coming in the air, they're already taking two quick strokes and they're in front, pass the ball over, they're already there, sort of like a magician. Wherever the ball goes, even if the ball crosses, you know, ideally you want to have a foul here and not be able to have the ball, but a player who can really, who's really good, and you'll be able to tell by watching your players and the drills and the practices who's good at doing this and who isn't quite as good. So, you know, you're not gonna be changing your defenses all the time, but typically you're gonna start in a press and, and then come into some sort of zone as, as a fundamental. If you can stay in a press, you can stay in a press. If you've got a really dominant guard and the center is not uh, that strong, you might as well just press as long as you can. So that's up for the individual coaches to decide that. But basically you can tell your team to press a little longer, maybe press, change your defense to pressing with, without a foul so that you're really running the clock and mixing it up and have this player front for a longer time than you might have a player who is a real strong player but not quite as mobile. 